Brilliant. Hey, good morning, everyone. I'm Anna from Taiwan Tourism Bureau. We are very, very happy to have you in this nice morning and evening. And I would like to welcome everyone to join us our first episode of our latest webinar series in, in this great May. Okay, <laughs> travel is not going to be the same anymore. And so as the products and the agents, of course. Today, we are very happy we're very honored to have two of our best partners whose experience has specialized in hiking tourism from Taiwan who is joining us today right now online. The first one is Ting Ye, the manager of Overseas Department of Women International Travel and Tours. Ting Ye, would you like to say hello to everyone? Hello everyone, I'm Ting Ye from Women uh, International Travel and Tours. And the other one is Claire, who is the product manager, manager of Addison Travel Service. Hi, Claire. Claire, you are mute. <laughs> You're mute. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah. Hello, my name is Claire. I'm from Addison Travel Service. Brilliant. Good morning to London. <laughs> okay. And both Tinya and I will have around 20 minutes to share the latest products and information of high controls in Taiwan. And of course, we'll have the QA session at the end of our web before the end of our webinar. So at the first, I would like to introduce the other important person from the Taiwan Tourism Bureau London office, the director, Sylvia. Hi, everyone. I'm Sylvia Lee, and welcome to our Taiwan Travel Chat webinars. In the following weeks, that we will host a series of webinars that provides the update information travel in Taiwan. So welcome to join us, and uh, uh, when when the, when our government reopened our borders and the international travel begins to open uh, to open back up, you can send your clients to Taiwan with confidence. And um, uh, thank you for your joining today's webinar. And hope you will find it is fruitful for your future business. If you have any questions. Don't be hesitant to ask in the QA section. Welcome to join us. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Sylvia. And um, before we are going to start it, uh, I would like to ask you to turn off the camera and the microphone during the presentation in case there's another technical problem during the presentation. So if you have any questions about the product, the situation in Taiwan, you could put on put your questions in the chat box. Or you can wait until our QA section and show your questions to our partners. So I would like to I would like to give the microphone to our first partner, Tinye from One Man International Travel. Tinye. Okay. Um, So, uh, can you see my screen? Yes, it's perfect. Okay, uh, so I will start my presentation. And it's my honor uh, to be here today to share uh, our the most spectacular hiking trails in Taiwan. I'm Ting Ye Wu from Wildman International Travel and Tour. And you can see uh, at the right hand side there is a photo here. This is also this is what this is one of my favorite place in Taiwan. 
Uh, you can see uh, this is the valley, and there is the road uh, just uh, along the river here. And this is for vehicles. But uh, at the right hand side, there's another trail. This is for uh, for walking. So you can see when the people walking on this trail, they will feel scared and happy because they're happy. They can see all the valleys and with very beautiful scene. But they also feel scared because uh, the, the, the height difference is about 700 meters. So and, and and about the 500 meters long, uh, they will uh, walk along the cliff. And this is uh, I can I can say this is a uh, one very uh, uh, very important and uh, very uh, important place uh, in Taiwan. So I want uh, that is why I put these photos here. So let me introduce my uh, company first. Uh, actually, One Man and International Travel and Tours is, uh, has about a 10 years experience uh, organizing the cycling and the hiking tours. Uh, from very simple to the difficult and uh, from the daily, uh, sing, uh, daily uh, single day and to multi-day tours, uh, we bring the all aged clients to uh, have a wonderful hiking, hiking tours. Uh, about five years ago, uh, we try. Uh, we decide to uh, extend our uh, business from just inside Taiwan to other countries. So we have the most uh, tour itinerary uh, in Nepal and Japan. Also, we have uh, some tours uh, in New Zealand, Switzerland. South America and Africa. We bring Taiwanese people to uh, other countries for hiking. And uh, from 2019, uh, we accept a request from Taiwan Tourism Bureau uh, to organize some fan trip because we want more foreigners hiking in Taiwan. So uh, in these two years, uh, there are some uh, reporter groups or we attended the uh, travel ad adventure fair uh, in in uh, the United States. So um, it's a, a very uh, happy to have chance here to uh, introduce uh, again about the hike hiking in Taiwan. Uh, for our company, there are three things that are very important: safety, customer uh, custom service, and the support. Uh, the safety is always the first priority for us because all all of you knows that the every outdoor ac activity has its risk. So our responsibility is to lower uh, the risk as much as as we can. Then uh, we uh, show our clients um, uh, the 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 wonderful tours. And uh, because most of our uh, tours are with few number of the people, uh, like the eight people or four or less. So we can, dis before departure, before their departure, we can discuss with our clients how to make our uh, tours more special. And uh, uh, before, during, and after the tour, we give uh, the recommendation to our clients how to prepare the uh, the how to prepare for this tour and what kind of the equipment is necessary. So the support is necessary. Then uh, the next part, I will introduce you to uh, hiking trails. The first one is Jade Mountain, which is the highest mountain in Taiwan with 3,952 meters. Actually, uh, Jade Mountain is, um, uh, is a region in the national park. And you can see there's a map here, and this is the Jane Mountain. Um, um, and then there are actually there are also other trails um, in um, in this national park. And actually, this place is almost at the central part of Taiwan. So, and around uh, this area, there are forest and some of the indif indigenous tribes uh, located. Uh, in this area. So for some of hiking lovers, they are not, uh, they are not only climb up the uh, Jane Mountain 
Jane Mountain, but they will spend more days, like five or six days, to uh, visit all of the peaks around uh, this area. Uh, but uh, for just Jane Mountain, we recommend three days uh, trip. So uh, they are, they, which means we have, uh, we need two nights to stay in the lodge. Uh, when we walk on the trail, actually because of the uh, very special geographic environment, so um, most of the time we can uh, we can find out some of the very special uh, animals or plants. Like these two are, uh, I have ever met them before. And the left hand side we call it the white ear sibia, and it uh, this bird is. Uh, its voice is, is very special. It sounds just sounds like Patagonia, Patagonia. And when you walk on the trail, you can hear this voice all the time. And at the right, right hand side is another flower. It's a very sm small flower and just only appear in the Jane Mountain area. And if you look at look at it very carefully, you are able to you are able to see it's like a art work of the art. So, uh, of course, there are other plant, very special plant. We call it um, uh, in endemic species. Uh, so, um, it, it's, it's possible to find out many different plants along this trail. And this one is also another. Uh, is this one is very easy to find to found to discover. Uh, we call this Formosa Rivis Jack. Uh, it, the uh, the size is like a deer, but uh, when it barks, it sounds like an angry dog. So uh, as I just introduced you, um, uh, uh, nearby the Jane Mountain area, Jane Mountain, there are forests and some of the indigenous tribes, and this is this is one of one of them, just nearby the Jane Mountain, and we call it the Zhou. Uh, Zhou people, the the uh, their the name is Zhou, and uh, this is uh, if you enter their tribes, you are able to find out uh, this structure. This is the one. This is a very important place. Uh, their festival, uh, which is called Mayasvi, and uh, and also in the uh, the tribes, you can see many uh, very special and beautiful uh, work. And in the forest part, actually, there are also some of the trails. Um, these trails, uh, you know, uh, about the 100 years ago, Taiwan was colonized by Japanese. So, and this area at the that time, this area become the very important forestry, uh, forestry uh, inter industry. So they built some railway to, uh, to ship the wood. And uh, now these railway are abandoned, so become the uh, become the trails for tourism. So um, in the, it's very easy to walk on these trails and feel the very special atmosphere. And in the 4G day, you can see you can feel the the uh, the, the atmosphere is totally different. You can see this is the uh, railway and it will become the uh, trail right now. The second one is Jamming Lake. Jamming Lake is at the, uh, is like at the eastern, uh, southeast of the Taiwan. It's also uh, the mountain area. Um, the, the, this is the second highest mountain lake in Taiwan because this water is never disappear and with its very beautiful color. Uh, there are some of the names for this lake, such as the uh, the moon's mirror or angel's tear. So it becomes a very popular uh, trail in Taiwan. This is the a map of this trail. This is the entrance, and this is the lake. The two ways is uh, is one way is the length of this trail is about thirteen kilometer. A few years ago. Uh, we have a, a running game for running competition for this trail, and the fasti fattest people just spend four hours to uh, to finish the uh, trail. But uh, for for us, we spend three days. And so 
in this case, we recommend to live uh, apply for the cabins and uh, live in the cabins. And the, the most special thing uh, about this trail is you, you can also find out many uh, special uh, animals um, like the sambar or the Taiwan bear. And so the, the manager of the cabin always uh, have to remind the uh, hikers to hide their food very carefully because if they don't do so, in the night, the Taiwan bear will enter the cabin and to destroy the cabin to get the food. So uh, this is the moment you feel the animal is so close to you. Uh, of course, there are also, there are also in, indigenous tribes uh, nearby the Jiang Lake, which is Puno. So uh, to not only walk uh, hiking, um, but also we can we can uh, visit the indigenous tribes to hear their story, like the walking trees and or their old stories, or to experience their culture. Sometimes they uh, they are, uh, they. Have have the uh, they, they they have the the activity is uh, the local people bring the visitors to get some uh, uh, plants or the vegetable and then bring back those material to make the uh, their dinner or the lunch so they can eat the things they just collect at the same day. So the most important thing uh, for those uh, uh, trail, uh, the hiking trail is uh, we can organize uh, uh, according to the client's physical fitness or uh, their expect. We can organize the suitable the literary for uh, the clients. And uh, of course, not just hiking, but uh, we we uh, we always combine with other um, activity like cycling or the local uh, cultural experience or the bird watching and so on. Just um, depends on the client's need. And this is my um, contact information. If you are interested in uh, hiking in Taiwan, and please let us know. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Xinye. I think everyone is quite surprised that we have so many creatures in our mountains. And I think everyone is quite amazed by the mountains right now. So I would like to pass the time to Claire from Alice and Travel. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Claire. I'm from Addison Travel Service. And thanks for joining us today. And I got uh, my team, my colleague, Paul. Mr. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Good morning, everyone. And uh, Dennis. Hi, everyone. Dennis is here. <laughs> I got a strong team to support me, just in, in case later. Uh, if you ask two difficult questions, so they could Google it for me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They're my friends. They're my friends. So I'm going to talk about the most spectacular hiking trails in Taiwan. So I'm sharing my screen now. I'd like to begin with a few facts about hikes in Taiwan. First, experiences. Taiwan is one of the most mountainous countries in the world. So we could provide different kinds of hiking trails, hiking experiences for any kind of skill levels from beginning that's easy and moderate too difficult and any kind for any kind of interest for the bird lovers or the uh, just hikers to see any kind of landscapes and most of the trails in Taiwan are well built well maintained and well signed and hard service 
And for most of them, you don't have to apply for the permit to hike. And in Taiwan, we got a hundred popular pigs that we say Bai Yue. They are all over 3,000 meters. And for most of the hikers in Taiwan, it's been their dream in their life to come to Greenland all. And uh, do you know, in Taiwan, two thirds of Taiwan is covered by the mountains. And uh, we have more, uh, we have 268 pigs, summit 3,000 meters in total. Uh, Claire, I, th I think your presentation is not fully worked. Would you want, want to share your screen? Yeah, I'm going to share screen. Yes, I'm sharing my screen. Yeah, it's on the first page right now. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How about now? Hold on. It's disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> you have to share it again. I'll uh, share again. Yeah. How about now? Don't let us see. Totally black. <laughs> Okay. Um, uh, now? Yes, it works. Really. <laughs> Good. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go. Okay. So let's continue. Uh, I've been talking about uh, we got 260 pigs in total in Taiwan, some is 3,000 meters. And uh, the last fact is the weather. Always check the weather before you hike in the country. Because, uh, uh, and prepare for the worst scenario. Because uh, once you go out, you never control the weather. And in Taiwan, the annual average temperature is over 20 degrees Celsius. It could be the highest, 30 to 30, 38, and the lowest could be under 10. And we got a lot of rainfall from a typhoon. That's from July to September. And a lot of rainfall from the afternoon thunder rain. So, uh, where to hike? This is a Taiwan map. And uh, so you could see the highest peak, Mount J, is right here. And the majority of the Bai Yue, the high altitude peak, they are in Central Mountain Range, Snow Mountain Range, and Mount J Range. But today, I'd like to recommend you the easy hike. The easy hike, some of them are flat and some of them are steep. So for some people, they don't like the up stuff. They suffer from climbing up and a lot of stairs. Then go for the easy and flat one. So today, I'll recommend you the Beetle Cave, Harogo, Mount Shimen, Shika Mountain, Alishan, Samu Lake, and Mount Elephant back to Taipei. It's like a, in a clockwise direction. So let's go, let's start from the Beetle Cave. The Beetle Cave Trail, it's in northeast of Taipei. Oh, sorry, northeast of Taiwan. And uh, this trail, as you can see, is quite steep. To make it, the round trip is one and a half hours. 
you may you will start from the elementary school here and the first climbing up and down and pass by the abandoned military place then the second climbing up and down and end up at the fishing harbor along the trail you could take picture from different sort of angles and also you got a panoramic view of the cave the bay and the east sea there are still two trails down down there but because of the safety reason they are temporarily closed now if you take the aerial photos this trail will look like the gray wall. Now we're going to the eastern Taiwan, the Tarogo, Tunnel of Nighton's Trail in Tarogo. There are quite a few hiking trails in Tarogo National Park. Some of them could be very exciting, like you walk along the creek and some leads you to see the waterfalls and this one is the most populous one and the easiest one why because this trail is very wide and flat and also wheelchair accessible you could go from the west to east or from east to west one way is 30 minutes and along the trail you could see the Liu River in the carving, cutting the gorge, the marbles, and you see the cliffs and some vegetation growing from the steel wall. <laughs> so let's go for them. Now we're going to one of the Bai Yue 100 peaks. It's at a high altitude. So you could see it's over 3,000 meters. But we say it's, we include it as the easy hike because to make it, it's just one hour for the round trip. And it's in Hehuan Mountain Range. This trail, you will start from the parking lot the Song Chue Lo here. Then it's quite flat. After you walk around 15 minutes, then it becomes a bit deep. Then another 15 minutes to reach to the top. When you reach the top, you got a panoramic view and all the high mountains surrounded you. They are uh, Mount Jade and uh, the uh, Mount Jie, the main peak, the Da Ba Jian Shan, Da Ba Jian Peak, and all the high mountains surrounded you. But uh, remember, during the winter, the snow will accumulate on the road, make it difficult to see the path clearly. So avoid to come here in the winter. Now going more south, in, uh, in Hualien, Chike Mountain Trail, it's in Eastern Rift Valley. And you see all these yellow and the gold flowers, they're called day lilies, also called the day flowers. And because this flower only blossoms in one day, only the flower bud is eatable. So for all the farmers, they have to harvest them in one day, which is impossible and difficult. So the farmers, they will just leave it and make it become the flower seed, like what you can see now. And the blossom season is in every July to August, which is our summer. The, flat, uh, the trail is quite easy and flat to make it for the round trip. It's around two hours. Now we are in Ali Shan Forest.
And as they all, uh, as all, the, all of you could may already know that Ali Shan is famous, made famous for the four wonders: sunrise, forest, railway, and sea cloud. And there are quite a few hiking trails in Ali Shan forest. One, uh, and uh, this one is the most popular one. To uh, and this, when you walk along the trail, you can enjoy those giant trees. They are all over hundred year old, and a few of them are a few of them are over thousand years old. And you could also take the little train. And there are two, two little trains running in the forest park. One leads you to see the sunrise, one running in the forest. And the climate in Ali Shan, for, in Ali Shan forest area is quite comfortable. It's around average 10 Celsius degree. So we especially recommend you to come here in summer to enjoy the fresh air, the negative ion. To make this trip, the ground trip is two hours. And uh, uh, be careful, there are still a bit uh, stairs. Now we are in central Taiwan, the Samu Lake. Samu Lake is the biggest, the biggest freshwater lake in Taiwan. And as you could see, this trail is built along the lake. And there are uh, uh, other trails that you could go to see the sunrise or you could see the tea field. And this one is totally the waterfront. It will start from the Ida Shao Pier. And Ida Shao in Aboriginal language. The Ida Shao is the origin of our Shao tribe. And we got the 16 tribes in total in Taiwan. And the Ida Shao, in the old days, our former president, Zhang Kaixian, he liked to rap to Ida Shao and watch the, enjoy the Aboriginal dance. And now it's become a scenic spot and the tourist spots where you could take the lake cruise and uh, do a little bit shopping. And this trail, you will pass by the roadway station, which is our cable car that you could overlook the whole summer lake and end up at the Shui Wato to make it a one way in 30 minutes, double back is one hour. If you like to extend, you could do another trail in, uh, in Shui Watong, another one hour. So now we are back to Taipei. This is the last stop on the uh, Mount Elephant Trail in Taipei. It's in core heart of Taipei City, the Xinyi district, which is quite close to Taipei 101. And this photo was taken from the Mount Elephant Trail, the top of Mount Elephant. And every, every new year, a lot of photographers, they were occupied their best spot just want to get the best shot of the 101 fireworks. And we especially recommend you to come here before the sunset so you could have both the day view and the night view. And this trail is also the easiest one for everyone to reach by public transportation. You could just take the subway, which is our metro, and stop off, get off at the Mount Xiangshan, Mount Elephant, 
a walk of a few minutes than its entrance. It could be very steep. And to make a round trip is one and a half hours. And now for our young people, it's quite like a dating place for boys to bring their girls. But don't forget your torch. So my conclusion today is Taiwan is such a great place, great destination for hiking lovers. We've got so many mountains, so many different types of hiking trails from easy to moderate to a high altitude like this. And we Addison, we Addison Travel Service, we provide, we could provide a very good advice for you. And especially when you want to hike at high altitude, you will need our suggestion. We could send you, we could send you a mountain guide, Horton, and we could provide we could provide the equipment rental or to uh, transportation. A lot of uh, uh, suggestions to you. We are capable to do this. So uh, later, when the Q8, you are free to ask us any questions. And it's in spite of the pandemic, we add the central travel service have some accomplishments, such as we are one of the first travel agents to receive the safe travel stamp by WTTC. And we are only one travel agent in Taiwan who's awarded the travel's choice two years in a row. So thank you for your time. We are Addison Travel Service. Brilliant. Thank you, Claire. Thank you so much. And uh, I, I'm quite confident that, that I always talk to the agents or partners in, right here in the UK. When you are talking about Taiwan, you can't ignore our mountains. So from the pro to amateurs, I'm pretty sure you can find your products with Tinya and Claire for your clients. So we are going to in the QA section for our agents in the UK. If you have any question, you can turn on your camera and microphone and talk to our partners directly. So if you have any questions or any, any words to say, you are very welcome to turn on your camera. Yeah. I think we got some shy agents right here. <laughs> so I will in uh, I will send out a follow up email with our fully information of our partners today who joined us today. So if you have any questions or you need some information from us from Taiwan Tourism Bureau or from agents in Taiwan, you are very welcome to contact with us. So, is there any questions comes out? If not, I think it's quite a good time we have to close this webinar and uh, we're going to hold the, the other webinar next week at the same time on Tuesday. So, book your seat right now since our seat is quite limited and we're going to talk about the cycling trail in Taiwan. Once, once you get Taiwan, <coughs> Either you, you are going to hiking or you are going to cycling. So if you are interested about cycling tour in Taiwan, you definitely have to join us next week. So thank you again all and wish you have a wonderful day and see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. I miss you all. I miss London. Bye.